Hello guys, here I am with the episode 4.0 Swordman class armor tier list. And the first one will be elemental armor. It's good for starting equipment. You can use it to tank MVP. It's cheap and it can reduce the damage to almost 75%. I'm gonna put it on the B tier. And the next one will be iron armor. Iron armor is an upgrade of wooden mail. It have 75 defense, quite good, almost like a garment. Also bonus 3 strength, 2 feet, and 20 attack. At full tier, it will give another 69 defense, 8 feet, 7 strength, 100 attack, and 2000 HP. Not mentioning the plus 10 and plus 15 bonus. And it's cheap, so it's easy to socket A tier. Panties. Well, it's not really an armor, it's a panty while it have low defense but it have high bonus dex and flee with total of 14 dex and 25 flee. It's good if you want to make a Agi flee build but nah, nobody wants it so C tier. Types B tier. There is not much to say for it. The next one will be Goibnus armor. A really good starting equipment that you can keep for a long time you can use it until the rest of your life and it is still good it's cheap easy to socket it have 42 defense a total bonus of 10 feet 500 HP 300 SP and 12% max HP at full tier and another 5 feet 15% max HP and minus 15% damage from poison, holy, dark, and ghost damage at full set A tier. Death Cat Armor D tier. Stones Armor The core equipment for Guild War and PvP that comes to perfection from the 4.0 update. It have 84 defense, plus 2 strength, plus 1 dex, and more importantly, it will protect you from fear effect. Yeah, that status that will make you run out of control. Also, at full tier, it'll give another 84 defense, 10 strength, 11 dex, 2000 HP, 10% attack damage in Grand Cross, 10% physical damage in Grand Cross. I don't know what's the difference, it's just say so. Plus 3% attack at plus 10 refine and plus 3 attack and magic attack at plus 15 refine. Also, plus 5% attack and 5% magic attack with stone ring set S tier. Angeling protection. It have 33 defense plus 500 HP plus 200 SP and when suffering from attack target has 5% chance to receive assumption level 1 Z tier. Meteorite armor. This armor will give you 50% resistance to stone and freeze but 50% resistance to stone and freeze doesn't make you 50% harder to kill because you most likely will be dead even before you get stun or freeze D tier. Cat's Blessing It have 46 defense, 1k HP bonus Orleans Gown why do you even need this? D tier, Beast Heart. This armor is good for sword crit build because it gives a lot of damage and crit damage bonus when using sword but it's not really anybody's favorite C tier. Thief Cloth. This armor is really help a lot when your attack is low and having a hard time for one hitting small monsters like teddy bear, christmas cookie, marmot, and the rest. With Holy Dagger at full tier, it gives 15% damage to S size target. Also, when using Dagger, it have plus 6% attack and plus 4 strength, and plus 2% attack at plus 10 refine B tier. Garment Plate Armor This armor will make you tanky at full tier, it will make you want to get hit more, but it's very expensive, and because it's a crafting equipment, it's hard to socket. If it's not socket, then why bother? C tier. Glittering Jacket. It's good if you use axe as a weapon, but it's not really suitable for a swordman class armor. C tier. Legend Plate Armor. Every noob's 
favorite armor. It have 157 defense plus 6 feet plus 15% max XP and some crit damage resist at certain refine level but doesn't have upgrade tier also it's very expensive trust me it's not as good as you think it is if you want to make healing royal guard build then what's the point of priest job C tier imperial armor it's one of the new armor from 4.0 update it have 105 defense plus 2000 HP when using devotion heal 2% of max HP every 5 seconds for 60 seconds plus 2% max HP for its refine above plus 10 so at plus 15 you will get plus 10% max HP and the price is 10 million And maybe that's it. If you have your own opinion, you can write it down in the comment section. And thanks for watching. See you again next time.